Good morning, guys. It is early still, kind of early, and we are getting ready to go to the horse barn early. Bailey Bird's trying to say hello. Let's say hello. No, he wants one of Yeah, he worm. sees the mealworm sitting there, and so he comes down, sits on the ground of his cage, and he stares at them. He twists his head around. He stares at them. You should give him more. No, we already gave him ten. We already gave him ten today. Anyway, I'm just waiting for my shirt to dry in the dryer so that we can get ready to go but i have a quick little story to tell you before we head to the horse barn so two and a half years ago i was thinking hey i want a puppy this is before i got toby i was thinking the girls both have a puppy i've always had my own chihuahua gabby stole macy from me she was mine at the beginning i just really want a puppy of my own and so i started entertaining the idea of it i started saying sam maybe you could buy this christmas time I I said, maybe you could buy me a Chihuahua or actually one of the Yorkie. Maybe you could buy me a Yorkie puppy for Christmas. And he's like, no, no, no more dogs. And I kept on going back and forth and back and forth. And in my heart, I knew I wanted another, another puppy. I didn't want a rescue dog because I didn't want all the trouble that goes along with some rescue dogs. I just wanted my own puppy to raise. And so one day I was changing this little calendar that I have and I put this little puppy on there and he sat there for months and months and months. And every time I changed the calendar, I would look at the puppy and I would think, you know, I really want a puppy. And I would look for one online. I never found one I wanted. And I would say, God, you know, I think I really want a puppy, but I, I didn't know. But every time I saw that puppy there, I just had this weird feeling in my heart. Like I, I had a special feeling. Like I just, it, it was just special to me. So anyways, a year and a half goes by and out of the blue, somebody messaged me a picture of this little puppy. It was a rescue dog that I didn't want. It was a chihuahua and I knew I had to, to respond. So I responded to the picture and the ad and I said to Sam, we have to go and see this little dog. He's a year old we, and I don't even like boy dogs. I said, we have to go see him. And Sam said, all right. He didn't say no, no more dogs. He said, all right and we went there and the rest is history it was love at first sight and now i can see that i wasn't sure what i wanted but god knew what i needed and he gave me a rescue dog that was so damaged but now he is the love of my life right all right so here's where the story gets really interesting after i got toby this little dog went missing he was not anywhere near my calendar and then when I did find him and I would look at him, I would think it didn't feel like, I didn't feel anything. I didn't feel like a connection to the little dog, nothing. Well, a few months ago, I looked over at my calendar and this was on there. So this was on my calendar and I don't remember putting them there. The girls don't remember putting them there. There are two little mini Winnie horses and two, not just one, and then I just kept them there. Nobody ever tried to take them away. I just kept them there. And every time I look at them, I get a feeling. I just get this weird feeling and I love them. Like they're a part of me now. I have to keep those little horses there. And I know that God, and I keep telling God, you know, God, I think maybe we are ready to get a farm and to get a couple of horses. And so I leave them there so that God remembers and he knows and he will get to choose, you know, and show me what we, I always feel like God either says yes or I have something better for planned for you. So I'm just leaving it up to God and I leave those little horses there. So the other day I was telling the girls this whole story about the dog and how I kept the dog on the calendar and now like a year and a half later I got this little puppy that I didn't even know I wanted and now I love him. So I told them the story and then this happened. I came back the next day to look at my little horses and this is what I saw. My little horse is up there. Wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> I saw this. By Ray, believe. <laughs> Ray, Ray, Ray beside my believe mm -hmm. sign are not one, two, three, four, but five, six, seven horses. Seven horses. So does that mean you want seven horses? No, I did not put this there. All right, does that mean you want six horses? No. You just want horses. I want three and Gabby wants three. Yeah, so they're not taking any chances. <laughs> So magically, Sam can hear me talking in the background. Now look what I see on my mantle. <laughs> <laughs> we got six horses Bumble plus Bee. my two little ponies Bumble plus Bee. a race car. No, it's Bumblebee. Bumblebee the race car. Yeah, I also have a monkey back there just in case and a couple of minions and I don't know what else. But hey, these don't no. mean anything to me. Do you have a special feeling that those boats up there? No. No, but I do have birds up here. 
And now yeah. we have a bird. Those are all Sophia's. Yeah. I also have a snowman and a bear and an angel. But no, that bear is mine. When we went to But they don't give me a special feeling. When we went to the yard sale, everything was free. And I just like stuffed those in my bag. <laughs> okay, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> this is getting crazy. Just as we look what disappeared on our mantle as we were talking. Get ready. Now, not only do we have horses and a race car, but we have a farm. Oh, look it. They can all go in there. Whoops. <laughs> As we're here, we're at the barn. We're early today. Today we're doing it because it's a holiday. We're doing it at lunchtime. So let's go see what's going on. Oh, I'm riding blue. Sophie's riding Abby. Riley's cool. riding Jasmine. All right, Riley came early, I think. Let's go no, in here. I'll see at a yellow door. Okay. Early? Up there. So, there's me. Oh, uh, ooh, who's this? Ziggy. Ziggy. Wait. Daddy? Yeah? You can ride Spencer and do walk trot cane, or you can ride Ziggy and do walk trot. Uh, you get Spencer. to make a choice. Spencer. Spencer. That's what I think. Why don't you ride Ziggy? I'd ride Ziggy. That'd be my choice. I'd ride Ziggy if I was allowed. I should ride Ziggy, Gabby. Fast. Gabby got a choice. She could ride Ziggy, or she could ride who? Spencer. Spencer. And she chose to ride Spencer. How could you not I choose ride, to ride this guy? If I could ride Abby or Ziggy, I'd choose Ziggy. Yeah, I would always choose Ziggy. <laughs> I do, they're so nice. I need the boots. The boots are like, you have to like find the perfect one. Look at how lively he is. What, you mean you're, you hate riding boots? Let's check your helmet, make sure it's on nice and safe. Did dad fix it? Did dad fix it? I always I like Lola. I wonder if you'll ever get to ride Lola. Look at, she's a nice color. Oh, I'm so close up. Just watch you. I got flip flops on. I can't believe Gabby got a choice to ride this big, gorgeous horse and she's gonna ride a pony. So basically, if she rides this horse, she only gets to walk, trot. But if she rides the pony, she gets to walk, trot, and canter. What would you choose? Would you try, choose to try him? They, everybody says he's so fun to ride. So you get to, she only would get to walk and trot because he's so fast. She wants to ride the pony because then she gets to canter. today they are having so much fun I cannot wait for Gabby to get in a group lesson with other girls because right now she's still riding alone to catch up to their speed
Turning walk, over the other one. Stretch your heels down, toes out. Heels down, toes out. Good job. Carry that platter. Not a bad trot. Did you have a good ride? Yeah. He's alive. All right, you get to take her to the paddock. Him. Chloe's him. Chloe's going to show us the way, though. Chloe. Here on the bridge, Move it away, please. Yes. What's going on? Brushing? You don't need that brush. He's got no fur left. You just need to use a regular brush. Hey, Blue. Hey, Blue. Here's the question of the day. Is Sophie using the right brush? Are you using the right brush? You don't need that. You said yes. You just want to be scratched. I think you need to use a brush. A body brush. See, he even agreed. The horse even agreed. Said, use the body brush. Sophia <laughs> left the barn without me. She's already taking Azzy to the paddock, and they're going to a different paddock today. Oh, there's Ben. Azzy and Ben are partners. Oh, it's a big gate. <laughs> Or Ben, he's like, there's my friend. Yay. We've got to give him a carrot. And plus, it's not cool. So we're headed back to call Azzy over and give him a carrot. Azzy. Remember, don't touch the white fence. How do you Azzy. call a horse over? Azzy. Oh, here, here they come. They know. They know what's happening. Wait, let's break it in half. Okay. Here, hold this. There's the two boys. There's Ben, there's Abby. Right okay, here. Okay, one to each of them. And then for Ben. Oh, careful. Okay, one for Azzy. There you go. There you go. He bit my finger. Oh, that was not nice. He was super excited. Well, he's a big horse, huh? I know. That's why he's for Big Ben. Big Ben. I'd like to ride Big Ben. Oh my gosh. No, what if you can't? I can't believe that I'm saying things like I wish to ride him, but I feel like the riding itch in me. And no, there goes Addy. <laughs> there goes Addy. She's there like you have no more treats. I guess I'll go eat some grass. All right, you guys, so if you guys got to watch our live stream, we just are headed back to our car after taking the horses down to the barn and we live streamed it. Oh my gosh, we've never live streamed before because we didn't think anybody would come. And it, Sam did it at the barn. It was a little bit awkward. Was it awkward for you? Yep. It was a bit awkward because all the people were standing there and they were looking at us like, okay, what are you doing? <laughs> anyway, and nobody was talking. It was so quiet. But then he thought it was so fun, and then I thought it was so fun, and then I'm like, let me try. And then, so when we got to take the horses down to the barn, which was so fun for them, um, we live streamed it. So it was fun. So you know, we're gonna do it again and again. You guys are probably gonna get sick of us live streaming. Did you have fun live streaming? Live streaming. 
Yeah, yeah on your channel? Yeah, I can show me walking. Turn around and talk. Oh, a little too funk up there. Anyway, yeah, so maybe even Gabby will do a live stream on her channel. So Gabby and I were working a little bit on her send room. For any of you guys that are new subscribers, this is Gabby's messy room. And she has her mattress on the floor. So this is her room, and then it goes into this sunroom. And we've been dying to figure out what to do with it. So we ended up putting a bed up here, the blow up bed up here. Isn't it good? What do you guys think? I might. I also put a lamp here because even though you can turn on this little light at night, yeah, it's that's like far from the bed. But it's all windows. We need to fix some of our screens, so. Yeah. It's almost like there's a spare room. So now when we have company over, they can sleep in here. Like Gabby is planning a big sleepover, a girls party right. sleepover, right? And. Anyway, so this is where the bed, where we put the bed. And we're planning to put a big TV here. Right here on the wall. All we need to get that done. Miracle. <laughs> it's a miracle. It's Sam to do it for us. We have the TV, we do got everything it. we need. So that's all we're waiting for. But then we have this little section over here. So a little bit of room left. And I was thinking Gabby could put her chair out here. Or what I thought would be really cool would be for Sam to build us. He's looking at me. Sam to build us like a big stand under just underneath the window that they can set all their schleich up and all their barns no. up. But they don't want to do that because they like to keep them downstairs and play with them downstairs. Yeah, but. and there's lots of room on the dining room table. But Bye. anyway, so we should bring up some curtains and stuff. The problem is, is that this room gets super cold at night, and our our battery is flashing. So let us know what you guys think. A lot of you guys have told us what you think we should do with this room, um, all the way from the start. So keep the suggestions coming because we still don't know exactly. I'd like to make it a little bit fancier before we have our big giant sleepover. Anyway, that's it for today, you guys. We are going to end today's video. And if you think Sam should put the TV up there for us tomorrow, click the like. Click the like button. And comment, comment, yes. Yeah, and click comment like, down below. And yes, Sam. Do you. it, Sam. Come on, Sam. And comment down below. I'll give you a treat if you do. <laughs> Yeah, we don't use that on her very often. <laughs> you make it sound like we tell you all the time we'll give you a treat if you do what we want. <laughs> all right, see you later, guys. Bye. Comment no. <laughs> no. Bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs>